demanding deserts. Diction dictionary definitions of of the world word desert typically describe barren lands that can support life, little or no life. While that definition describes some desert regions, other desert landscapes are very different. They include trees, shrubs, cacti growing on mountainsides, many kinds of creatures call these areas home. Other deserts appear to be endless seas of sand and waves of rolling sand dunes. Streams and rivers even pass through some desert regions. Although the waterways can remain empty for a long, for long periods of time, all desert areas have some aspects in common. Compared with the rest of the world, deserts are arid places. They usually receive less than 25 to 4 centimeters of rain or snow each year. Deserts tend to have dry soil and not very vegetation. Although some deserts can get very hot, most deserts are sunny and hot. Nearly one fifth of the Earth's land in desert is deserts. Five of seven continents have no deserts. Your and I have hot deserts. Your and Antarctica do not. Deserts are very are very in in size. Some deserts are small and others are huge. Let's travel around the world and learn more about the world's deserts and indigenous peoples who have called them home for thousands of years. People who live in the desert survive just like everyone else by adapting to the surroundings. They locate food, water, and shelter at any other demanding location on Earth. For the inhabitants, of desert regions, though, the desert isn't just about survival. It is so much more than that. It's home and a way of life. The Toho Waham, Odaham, and Sohona Sonoan Desert. The hot, dry Sohona Desert stretches out for the Three million ten thousand eight hundred square kilometers across the southwest United States and northern Mexico. Months passed passed without any rain. The summer days can reach forty nine Celsius. On the other land, winter nights winter nights and dip dip below freezing it remains more in Sornian Desert moons monsoons often drench the entire desert. Shade trees, large cacti such as shirao, and even summer flowers can grow there. The Tohono, the Tohono Omedo are Inyo's people who live in the Sohona Desert. Tonya Oaham means desert people. For the past few hundred years, people from the other countries have occupied land that have belonged to the Adam for thousands of years, fully taking it away. Today, the land that remains under their control is divided among four tribes, one of which is Tohono O'odham Nation. O'odham people of the Junior Jula River Indian Community, the Action Indian Community, and the Salt River Pimaracopia and their community speak the Oadam's language. Although there are differences from tribe to tribe, the largest community, the capital of Tohono Oadam's nation, is also Arizona. Today, the Oadam people live on reservation and off reservations in towns and cities. For thousands of years, the desert has provided the Oadams with water, food, and shelter. Using flow water irrigation techniques, such as water derivation, and carefully selecting planting sites, Oadam became masters at dryland archi architecture, agriculture, growing crops such as corn and crash, squash and beans. Over time, as the Oadam lost more of their land, as they preserved 
by the U.S. government to become more like white Americans. The autumn, autumn way of life. Shifted still, the Odom people have fought to keep their traditions over the years. Many Odoms include their tradition in their modern life, including farming, cooking, and ba- basket making. The Bedouin and the Sahara, the Sahara stretches across the northern Africa for eight point six million square kilometers. It is very hot and dry in the Sahara. Because so little rain falls there, few plants and animals flourish there. Bedouin are people who live in Sahara. Bedouin comes from the Arabic word "badu," which means "people of the desert." Traditionally, Bedouin are people herders who roam the desert during the rainy winter, driving their ca- dr- driving with their camels, sheep, and goats to farm. To farmland during the dry summer n- months, sparse natural resources force the Bedouin to the north. Nomadic, they travel from the oasis to oasis, and the Guang, the Guang wells to get water. Some Bedouins still live as their ancestors did. But normal, but normal nomadic Bedouin today can also get supply from market sellers or other places. Bedouin live in the lone black tents called baits, baitits, made out of goat hair or sheep's wool. Baitits protect them from the sun, wind, and blowing sand. Some Bedouins still live in them today. In matters of hours, Bedouins can take ta- down, can take down their bay, bites, and pack up their camps. For the past hundreds of years, or so, different countries have been taking over the land where the Bedouins have traditionally lived. Many Bedouins are no longer nomadic; instead, they lead semi-nomadic or even settled lives. Bedouins no longer work. Herding animals today, they have many different types of jobs. Mongolian nomads, the Gobi, stretching for one to six million square me- kilometers across the southern Mongolia to the northern China, the Gobi is a rocky landscape. Its language is the English Mongolian. People Gobi means large and dry, or the waterless place. Mongolian nomads have been roaming the cold, windy Gobi herds for horses, sheep, goats, and cattle. The two hunt buck, try, and camel camels for thousands of years. Traditionally, people home is yet yurt around tent called the gur, made of wood and framework leather. Girls go do a good job for protecting people from extreme heat and cold, but their animals can still suffer. Many families have nomadic lives in the desert behind exceptional, exceptionally harsh winters and dry summers have caused thousands of families to lose part of all, part or all of their herds. Changes in the government. Have also tra- affected herders, making it difficult for them to earn a living. In fact, since 1999, more than half a million Mongolian nomads have moved to Mongolia's capital city in search in search of search of food and work. Most bring their girls with them, living in districts and girls in the cities. The way of life. People have called deserts. Home for thousands of years, each desert have different challenges. The Inuit people who live there have also found always found solutions using local u- resources to build homes and find food and water. Today, much have changed, and many desert dwellers lead modern lives. However, some con- 
to you to live traditional lives, as their ancestors once did, and many continue to celebrate in traditions of their desert communities. Life in the desert is a dem- is as demanding as it is rewarding. The people who make the desert their home have always stamped deep, deep respect. Have all have always have had deep respect for their surroundings. They honor and use its offer- offerings, while all also recognizing its great power and beauty.